Heavenly Father, right now, I lift up my husband to you in the name of Jesus. Father, as I pray for my husband right now, I also pray for myself. And I pray for our bloodline in the name of Jesus. Father, right now, I ask, oh God, that you please forgive us of all of our sins and wash us with the redeeming, atoning blood of your son, Jesus. Father, we ask for your angels to be released, oh God. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Father, we cover our families with the blood. We cover our possessions with the blood. Father, I soak my husband in the blood of Jesus. And I ask, oh God, that you will open the floodgates of heaven over his life right now and release heaven's veracity. Veracity means to conform with the truth, oh God. It means accuracy. It means devotion to the truth. It means truthfulness. It means power of conveying or perceiving truth. It's something that's true. And so, Father God, I thank you that Jesus Christ said we will have the spirit of truth. And so, Lord, I ask, oh God, that you release the spirit of truth upon my husband. Father, I pray that you will buckle the belt of truth around his DNA in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that your truth is on the inside of him. I thank you, oh God, that he knows the truth and he is set free. And he will no longer be deceived like Eve in the Garden of Eden. Father, I thank you that he has your wisdom, your knowledge and understanding. Father, I thank you that he has discerning of spirits. He has your humility, Lord. And so, Father, I thank you that divine veracity is in my husband. And he conforms to you, Father God. He conforms to the truth alone, Father God. Father, he conforms to the truth, which is Jesus. He interprets the word of God with divine accuracy. He reads the word. And Father, I thank you that he glean from your word, oh God. He carefully studies your word, meditating upon your word day and night. And he is your oak of righteousness, planted by the water of your word, Father God. I thank you, oh God, that he's devoted to truthfulness. Father, I thank you that he has eyes to see the truth. I thank you, Father God, that my husband has eyes to see the truth, ears to hear what's truth. Father, I thank you that he walked in divine sensitivity to the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that the Spirit has come upon him. Father, I thank you that John 16 and verse 13 is his birthright. The Spirit of truth is upon him now. And Father, your Spirit is guiding him into all the truth in the name of Jesus. Father, I release John 14, 26 over my husband right now. Father, I thank you that your helper is upon him, the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father God, that the Holy Spirit is teaching him all things in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Father God, for your word that's being fulfilled right now. I put the whole armor on my husband. And Father, I thank you that you've given us power, authority, and dominion. And so we bind and cast out into the brimstone abyss every deceit, every lie, every false doctrine, every false teaching, every deception, every witchcraft, emotionalism, familiar spirits, witchcraft, exaggeration, false accusations, false burdens, false prophecies, unforgiveness, bitterness. Father, I bind and cast them out. Every perversion, hypocrisy, mental bondage, superstitions, OCD, Father God. I bind and cast out all uncleanness, unholiness, unrighteousness, vain imaginations, Leviathan, pride, Jezebel, Ab, Adalia, Delilah, marine spirits, water the spirits witchcraft we bind and cast them out father god in the name of jesus we bind every evil strong man and every stronghold oh god and every associated evil spirit and we cast them out into the brimstone abyss where they would never be able to come back father god father we release your truth oh god let your truth overflow in the husbands right now father god we plant the seed of truth and that's christ and lord i thank you for the harvest of truthfulness that's coming now father i thank you that our husbands hunger and thirst after your truth oh god they hunger and thirst after your word oh god they walk in the fruit of the spirit lord they walk in love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control father god in the name of jesus 
Father, I thank you. Father, I praise your holy name that your broom of destruction has swept away every wickedness according to Isaiah 14 23 Father we use the broom of destruction to destroy every wicked spirit that's coming against our husbands Father God in the name of Jesus we command them to go into dry places now Father I thank you that you are El Gabor. Father, I thank you that you are El Gabor. You are our mighty warrior champion and you're fighting for the husbands on this day. They're set free from every evil chain. Father, I thank you that the evil ropes are destroyed from their lives, oh God. Father, the evil prisons are pulverized. The evil prisons are pulverized, Father God. Father, I thank you that you hear our prayers and you're answering by fire, oh God. And as we pray for them, we're praying for us, for ourselves, oh God. We're praying for our ourselves as we pray for them we're praying for ourselves we're praying for our children father god sweep away all sinfulness from the husbands father sweep away all sinfulness from our husbands in the name of jesus lead them to full repentance father lead them to a life of consecration oh god and sanctification in the name of jesus sweep away all ungodly thought patterns oh god father sweep away destroy make null and void every evil soul tie covenants oaths vows contracts, evil calendars, evil cycles and patterns, Father God. Burn them up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Burn them to ashes, oh God, with the fire of your word, Father. Destroy every bondage. Destroy every addiction, Father. Destroy the stubbornness, the rebellion, the pride, oh God. Father, destroy the perversion, the polygamy. Destroy the deception. We bind and cast them out, the idolatry. Father, we destroy the curses, jealousy, envy. We bind and cast them out, every adultery, Father God. Every discord, unforgiveness, barrenness, shame and pain and sorrow, depression, mental illness. We sweep them away. We bind and cast them out into the brimstone abyss, Father God. The hatred, the unfaithfulness, the fear, the rejection, infirmities, poverty, depression, demonic burdens, setbacks, disappointments, marital strifes, divorce. Father, we bind and cast them out right now. Every division, every embargo, all the failures, oh God, demonic dreams, we destroy them with the blood of Jesus familiar spirits father incubus succubus spirit perverted spirit leviathan we bind and cast them out father into the brimstone abyss father god we use the blood filled atomic bomb of your word to destroy anything that's coming against our husbands we soak them in the blood we decree and declare that no weapon that's formed against them will prosper father every tongue that rises up against them in judgment we have a right to condemn father god we use the fiery hammer of your word to demolish every wickedness that's coming against the husbands father god every godlessness every distraction oh god we destroy them with the blood of jesus we beat them down with the fiery hammer of your word and we decree and declare that our husbands walk in full obedience to you father god they're filled up with the holy spirit the truth is flowing out of them and inside of them father i thank you that your truth is flowing inside of them and outside of them father i thank you that they have divine hope they have your hope they have your shalom peace they have your wholeness they have your wellness they have life and life more abundantly they are walking in holiness and righteousness they're walking in the fear of the lord they're walking in obedience unto you humility they're walking in righteousness wisdom divine purpose prosperity and healing and father i thank you oh god that the husbands are loving their wives as christ loves the church our husbands climb the sycamore tree like zacchaeus father to seek jesus they hunger and thirst after your right Righteousness and you are filling them up, oh God. They seek first your kingdom and your righteousness and all that they need is being added unto them. Father, I thank you that they glean your word every day. They go through your word, Father God. They walk in the fear of the Lord. They evaluate everything and everyone using your word, oh God. Father, I thank you that the Holy Spirit is teaching them. They are teachable. They are docile in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that from this day forward, we see divine change in the husbands. We thank you, Father God, that there's a harvest of truthfulness upon their lives, oh God, and that you're using them mightily in your kingdom as your apostles, your prophets, your evangelists, your pastors, your teachers. Father, I thank you that they are godly husbands 
godly men, Father, godly fathers, godly businessmen. Father, I thank you for blessing them financially. Open up the floodgates of heaven and meet every need. Heal their bodies, their bodies, their bodies now. Heal their souls, their souls, their souls right now. Heal their spirits, their spirits, their spirits right now, Lord. Father, send godly divine destiny helpers to help them now. Strengthen their faith, oh God. Strengthen them in you. I thank you, oh God, that they are rooted and grounded in your word. And you have filled their hearts with love, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, oh God, that they preach the word. They pray, oh God. They pray your word. They live your word, oh God. I thank you that your light is shining upon them and the darkness is gone. The generational curses are gone and they're walking in the blessings of Abraham. They're walking in the fear of the Lord. They walk in reverence. And Father God, they pick up the five stones like David and they assassinate every giant, every Goliath that's coming against them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And they're using the fiery hammer of your word. Father, they're using the sharper than the two-edged sword word of God to chop off the head of every Goliath that's been coming against them, Father. They are your David. They are your worshipers. They are your warriors, oh God. They are your prayer warriors. I thank you, oh God, that they have been anointed and appointed for this time. And they run toward the giants using the blood of Jesus. And they assassinate all the giants that's been coming against their bloodline in the name of Jesus. They hold the head of the giants. They hold the head of the giants. Father, I thank you that they have control now. Father God, I thank you that they walk in divine godly power, authority, and dominion. And Father God, they're holding the head of pride. They have chopped off the head of pride. They have chopped off the head of adultery. They have chopped off the head of loneliness. They have chopped off the head of fear, Father. They have chopped off the head of depression. They have chopped off the head of discord. They have chopped off the head of deception. They have chopped off the head of witchcraft. They have chopped off the head, oh God, of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. They walk with your sword. They walk with the word. They read the word. Study the word, oh God. Embrace the word. And I cover this prayer with the blood and I seal this prayer and every prayer and every husband and every wife and the children and their possessions with the eternal seal of the Holy Ghost. Father, I thank you that we see divine change. We see immediate change in the husbands. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give them today their daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread, oh God. You said healing is the children's bread. And so we receive the manna from heaven. All that we need is above. And so we look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help is coming from you, Father God. And we know that you're helping us. And we know that you're helping us. I know that you're helping us because we walk by faith and not by sight. And we speak those things that be not as though they were. We are persistent and we will never give up. We will not be afraid, oh God. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Father, we walk in power. We walk in power. We walk by faith and we will not retreat. We advance and we assassinate every Goliath. We go and we repossess our possession. We possess the land. We possess our marriages. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And we have repossessed our possessions according to Obadiah 117. In the name of Jesus, restoration is our birthright. I speak divine restoration to every family. The whole household is saved and refreshed, oh God. Resurrection power has been released and the dead, they're made alive, oh God. The, the prodigals that were dead, they're alive now, oh God. I thank you, oh God, that life and life more abundantly is flowing out of everyone in our household. We live for you. We have life and life more abundantly. Our marriages live. Our husbands, the wives, the children, we're living. Our blessings are living. Father, I thank you for divine health and wealth. We lack nothing. I speak debt cancellation right now. We owe nobody anything but to love them. I thank you for the reset button that's been pressed and our wealth is coming now. The wealth transfer is taking place. Everything has been reset. Father, I thank you that we have divine new beginning. I thank you that we have a divine new beginning and we bear the blessed fruit, Father God. We thank you for the blessed harvest in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God.